Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello all students in the road surface for the English language course, third secondary grade for a semester. Our lesson today in unit 3, form, meaning and function of Mega Goal 5. It's prepared and presented by me, Noura Sufiani. Uh, I hope all of you get benefit okay, from my lesson here and enjoy, inshallah. Okay, let's uh, start. We'll learn today using the simple present with verb be for asking about personal information correctly and using simple past the verb be and be born correctly. So all of the, these um, tenses here are past simple and present simple used for personal information. Okay? Now, if I ask you this question, what kinds of information you would be asked if you are in an interview? What kinds of information you would be asked if you are in an interview? So, uh, you want to have a job, a new job, and uh, there will be an interview, okay? Um, here, uh, they will ask you some questions about yourself. What kinds of information that you would be asked? So you would be asked about personal information, about your uh, name, about your um, nationality, about your birth, date of birth, place of birth, uh, about your age, about your job or occupation, about your ex uh, experiences, uh, about your skills. So these all personal information that you'll be asked, um, most of them uh, we use are used uh, the questions with present simple tense do or verb be. So today we will focus on these personal information, on these tenses that we use for asking about personal information. What are they? So first of all, we'll deal with simple present tense with do and does. Do and does. First of all here, if I want to ask you a yes no question, okay, for these question here do they use the internet do they use the internet the answer could be yes or no and the answer should be short short it means that yes and just okay a short answer um, for the question uh, okay or no and the short answer for the question you don't need to say a complete sentence for answering yes no question so in this kind of question, we use do or does because the main here we have a main verb. So do and does, okay, are helping verbs or auxiliary, auxiliary verb. So do they use the internet? Yes, they do. And no, they don't. And the second question, does she have a laptop? Yes, she does. Okay, no, she doesn't. All right. So do goes with the plural verbs and does with the singular all right she he it or whatever now look at this part here do they did they use the internet and here we have do you have a laptop does she have a laptop so these are what we call them assimilation we call them assimilation it means that we pronounce do and does okay so fast okay that's what we mean by assimilation it means uh, it's just okay in the spoken language not in or in the written uh, uh, language so here uh, something which is informal okay so for the spoken language or for the assimilation we try to shorten the sound or the pronunciation for do they instead of saying do they use we can say do they instead of saying uh, do you use we can say do you okay and instead of saying does she have we can say does she all right but we have to emphasize okay the main verb so we do they use the internet does she have a laptop but what about the short answer okay answering yes or no we can say yes they do so here we emphasize the or focus on the pronunciation for do because it's a short answer it's the answer but in the question no we use assimilation okay is that clear so we can say did they use the internet 
Yes, they do. No, they don't. Do you have a laptop? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, she does. No, she does not or she doesn't. Okay, so here we, are, we focus on the uh, pronunciation of do and does only in short answer. But in the question, no, we try to use the assimilation. Okay, what about here? Okay, the evaluation. Make each statement a yes, no question, then give a short answer. Here, this is an example. Ali doesn't use his cell phone often, does not use. Okay, the main verb is use and here does not because it's negative, we use does, a uh, helping verb or an auxiliary. If I want to make a question, what can I say? I can say does. Does Ali use his cell phone often? And question mark. Don't forget, if you write it, okay, don't forget to change does to capital letter, the D, okay? Does Ali use his cell phone often? And question mark, right? And the answer could be what? No, he doesn't, okay? No, he doesn't. What about number two? My parents both speak English. Where is the main verb? The main verb is speak. Okay, so if we have speak as a main verb, we need a helping verb to, uh, to make a yes, no question. What can we say? Does or do? Of course, we use do because here my parents, plural, okay? My parents. So we can say do my parents speak English and question mark. The answer, do you think the answer is yes or no? Is it negative here? Absolutely not. So it is an affirmative sentence. So we use yes. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. All right. Do your parents speak English? Yes, they do. What about the, the second sentence here? The hotel doesn't have its own website. Here the sentence is negative and here we use doesn't have. The main verb is have and for that we use what? The hotel, you think that hotel here is plural or uh, singular? It's singular. So we use the question or the auxiliary verb, does. Does the hotel have a website or its own website? The answer, is it yes or no? The answer absolutely is no because here doesn't. Okay, it's negative. No, okay, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Alright, so this is okay. The answer for making yes no question with ver auxiliary verb do and does. Is that clear? So you can try to use them okay by your own sentences and questions. Now the second part here is simple present of the verb be and information question. Um what I mean by verb be here, I mean by be here is um and are okay in the present sample so what are the information questions that we use the simple present is am are the first one is what's your last name what is your last name what's your last name what is as you notice here is is used to ask about a personal information the answer is it's zahrani so your answer also okay um, uh, in the present sample it is Zahrani, okay? The second question, how is it going? How is it going? Is here, is simple present? And the answer fine thanks or am fine thanks. I can say am, I am, am is a present simple tense, verb to be. When's the festival? When is the, the festival here? Is, is used, okay, to ask about, okay, quest, uh, personal information? It is in February. It's in February. It's in February. Where's your friend from? Where's your friend from? Where's your friend from here? Uh, you're talking about a place, okay, or um, uh, his nationality. Where is? He's from Jeddah. He is, okay. Who's that tall man? Who is that? Is, okay. That's my uncle. That is my uncle. Why is he here? Why is he here? He's here for the festival. Why are they here? Why are they here? They are here for the 
festival okay how are you how are you are is present simple of the verb be okay so we have different or a lot of questions for asking about information questions most of them all of them okay uh, the majority of these questions we use the present simple tense okay with verb be or sometimes with verb do or does okay see the evaluation for this part match the questions and answers when's your graduation I'm asking here about when's your graduation when is your graduation here when I'm talking about the time what do you think the answer it's about his here for the online conference we're for, uh, from Dubai fine thanks that's my aunt it's in June so when the time absolutely it's okay June right that month here okay it's in June number two why is Mr. Jones here why is is Mr. Jones here why here I'm asking about reason okay so can I say it's a boot absolutely not can I say he's here for the online conference for for here is for giving a reason yes so here we use okay or the answer for this question is he's here for the online conference where's your family from here I'm talking about place or I'm asking about place where is your family from place where's the place here it's a boat we're from Dubai fine thanks that's my aunt absolutely it's we're from Dubai as you notice here we are we're from we are are verb to be okay what about the last question who's the woman over there who's the woman over there who is who is so the answer could be it's a boot of course okay here yeah, boot is a, a man okay what about here that's all right my aunt that is that is so here you noticed that as we said that the questions in the question we use the present simple verb to be okay or verb we use the present simple be okay with verb be and also for the answers we use verb to be is is that clear now let's move to the last part sometimes uh, if we want to ask about personal information sometimes we can use the simple past in some cases we can use the simple past of the verb be and be born be here for the simple past they are was or were was or were okay so simple past of the verb was or were and be born was born or were born something related to the birth the place of birth or the time of birth okay now look at the question here where were you born where were you born and the second one where was he born or where was he uh, sorry she born okay or can, I can say when were you born if I want to ask about time or when was he born or when was she born so as you notice here we use the verb to be for the past were okay because here you you were they were okay so where were you born where were they born where were um, uh, we born okay where was he born where was she born or sometimes okay with i okay now the answer for this question i was born in oman i was born okay he was born in kuwait she was born in kuwait i was born in jeddah uh, they were uh, were born uh, in saudi arabia uh, we were born in um, saudi arabia now interview a classmate as for this personal information you can make here an interview with your friend with your you can also make it with your sister or your brother okay at home so try to practice okay uh, doing this activity if you want to ask about name what can you say what's the question absolutely okay something which is very easy what is your name what's your name what's your name okay so we use is the present simple number two spelling of the first and last names what can you say 
How do you spell your name? How do you spell your first name? How do you spell your last name? Okay, we use do here, okay, because the main verb is spell, okay? Number three, <coughs> about age. <coughs> if you want to ask about age of someone, what can you say? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you here are is the present simple tense. What about date of birth and place of birth? Uh, for date of birth, you can say what? When were you born? Okay, what about the place? Where were you born? Where were you born for the place and when were you born for the date? Number five, nationality. Nationality, okay? So, what's your nationality? Nationality, what's your nationality? Number six, the address. Your address. Where do you live, okay? What's your address? What's your address? As you see here, is and is also uh, present simple. Telephone number. It's very easy. What is your telephone number? What's your telephone number? Email address is. What's your email address? What's your email address? What about occupation? Your job? What do you do? What do you do? Here we use do. So, for asking about spelling the name and asking for the occupation, we use do, auxiliary uh, helping verb or helping verb here. And for asking about place and the time uh, or date of birth, we uh, use the past simple of verb be. For other information or personal information, we use the present simple with verb be. Is that clear? Okay, this is our lesson today. So here we end up with what did we learn today? We learned today using the simple present with verb be for asking about personal information correctly. And among this also we use the helping verb or auxiliary verb do and does and how can we pronounce them or how, what is the assimilation for them. Uh, number two, using the simple past of the verb be and be born correctly for personal information here okay where were you born and where was he or she born so if you uh, need to go over the reference for our lesson today you can check this box okay and the uh, google clip um, art for pictures and if you need to ask anything about the lesson you can contact with uh, the numbers that were um, account and the website this is all for today. Um, hope all of you enjoy and uh, see you inshallah next time. Thank you very much.